I met Shukri when I was in uh, Hargeisa, Somaliland. She was the founder of uh, this NGO called Candlelight, which is working towards empowering women in an extremely patriarchal society. After I have seen a young boy who was around nine years old, who was mining a checkpoint, he had a gun as tall as himself. Believe me, it was the shock of my life. And that's when I, I thought, uh, what can I do to help these kids back into the schools? Hargeisa is an oasis of peace and stability in a region wracked with chronic conflict. And it is so because of the work of, of people like Shukri and, and her organization. Education is preventing these kids from becoming Malaysia. It is only by working in uh, cooperation with groups like Candlelight, with people like Shukri, that we are actually able to help try to resolve these chronic conflicts. Amazingly, last week, I was at Hargeisa Airport. And there was this guy who was, you know, waving. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of your first students. He's a doctor now, a medical doctor. He's a surgeon. And I was in tears. Now they are doctors, engineers. You, you believe me, I was in a shock when I saw that kid. He said, I'm a doctor and I'm one of your first students. <laughs>